Did the Apple Watch beta just leak the fact that the digital crown is going away? Yes. Today, what I noticed in the Apple Watch in this beta one of watchOS 9 just kind of proved the fact that the digital crown is going away. We've had rumors in the past. We've seen some patents that Apple's working on some kind of touch sensor rather than the digital crown. And today, what I saw, I honestly believe that this is the first steps showing us that the digital crown is going away. Apple did something similar with the iPhone when they got rid of Force Touch. They started just kind of disabling Force Touch on betas and using long press instead. And now they're doing that same kind of thing on watchOS. So what did I notice in the beta today that led me to believe this? Well, when you use water lock or sleep tracking in the watch, in the past, you've always scrolled up the digital crown to leave those modes. In the betas, that's not the case anymore. Now you press and hold the button. I know this doesn't sound like much, but it's, it's that first start. We've already seen the patents. We've already heard the rumors that they're getting rid of it. And now they've changed the way these key features have worked. Since 2016, when they added swim proofness to the Apple Watch, you've been able to scroll up to get out of water lock mode. Now it's different. Why would they change that? Apple isn't really in the game of changing software just for software's sake. Usually it follows some kind of hardware need and that's why they change it. So there you have it. That's my case. That's what I believe. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Leave a comment down below because I'm gonna be in there. I wanna talk about this. I wanna talk it out. Do you think it's just an accessibility reason? It's a possibility. Comment down below, what do you think? Also, if you love Apple Watch, I got a video right here for you. And if you wanna see more about the betas, Here's a playlist right here. I will see you on the next one. God bless.